Sometime after we started making them videos in the fall, I started getting paid a penny on every time an advertisement would run on them, on them, uh, on them videos. And if somebody would watch it all the way through, then we'd make a penny. A penny? Yeah. So I thought I'd pay you your pennies. You got profit coming from last year. We made some money, so I thought I'd give you some. Now, if you didn't make the more penny you love home in that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made a whole lot of pennies, though. <laughs> you want to see how many pennies you got? <coughs> here you go. Look here. That's what you got coming from last year. Pennies. Well, I had to turn it into bills a little bit. Oh, why do you don't know me, man? Well, I do too. Cause no, you're, no, no, you told your stories and I made money on them, so I'm gonna give you some of that. Damn, there's a lot of money in there. That's twenty dollars bill. Yeah, that's your part from last year. Dave Lord, have mercy. What do you think about that? I think that's good. That's awful, but it make that much money. I that's that's money for telling your stories. I ain't, I don't didn't know I was making any. Well, I know I didn't tell you was gonna make any. I surprised you didn't. <laughs> How much did you get? <laughs> how much did I get? Well, I got more than that, so I could pay you. So I don't know exactly how much we got, but I figured you got at least six hundred dollars worth of it. There's six hundred dollars there. How about that? Is. Yeah, six hundred. Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting nothing. Well, I know you wasn't, but we made some money, so I'm going to give you part of it. I didn't promise you nothing, though, did I? But no. I, but there it is. Look at that. $600? That's for last year. We're going to make mo we're gonna make more money this year. You're going to make some more? What about what did I, what can I? Oh, you did was tell stories. Huh? That's you're getting paid for your stories right there. Look right there, Ralph Robertson, the storyteller of Greasy Holler. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he's a lot of money there, ain't he? Well, that ain't bad just getting started out. We just got starting out with it, so maybe we'll make more than that this year coming up. Okay, that sounds all right, don't it? Them pennies added up after a while, didn't they? They did, didn't they? <laughs> They sure did. I, Shit, you put that back in. I figured office. I'd give you one hundred dollars for each one of your daughters. You had six daughters, so that's six hundred dollars. Okay. So maybe we'll make some more money here before too long. And then I bring you another envelope full of money. Okay. So it's, now it's made it even more fun. So you're a professional storyteller. You've got paid for your story, so now you're a professional. Just like you as a professional farmer, you got paid for your tobacco. <laughs> yeah, so now you're getting paid for your stories. How about okay. that? Is that all right if I gave you a little money? That's all right. That's all right. All right. Well, yeah. So, so I'm, I've got in mind that if we can go down there and when it gets warm weather and go in the store and sit around and maybe film a little bit, maybe we can make some more money down there, what do you think? In the store? Yeah, I go down there and maybe straighten it up a little bit to where we can sit around and talk and tell stories around the old, around the old uh, pot belly stove. Yeah, the man had all them shelves here. Well, we can straighten it up a little bit. We can go down and there and- film the shelves. Yeah, we can we can straighten it up, and make it look like it did when it was open. You know, on that one part. That's what I mean. You know, but but it was full of stuff back then. Well, now. we'll make it look good though. We can straighten it up and just make a place to tell stories down there. Let people that's maybe come there as a kid come by and tell stories of what they remember. You know, there's a lot of people that grew up in the holler here and. When they was little kids, that was a big thing for them to get to go to the Robertson store because oh, yeah. somebody even said that you, they remember they'd go into the back and you sold fireworks. Yeah. Yeah. It was again a lot of sale fireworks. And I kept them in the back of the store. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You wasn't bootlegging fireworks, were you? And I'd take them in there when they'd want to buy fireworks and sell them fireworks. Well... Yeah. Now somebody said they that was a big thing to them get to go back there. You know, there used to be again a lot of sale up here in Claiborne County. Yeah. 
I remember when it was legal when I was younger, real young. And I'd always just go in there and get all I wanted and take them out and shoot them. Yeah. And that was when I was real young, maybe 10, 12 or something like that. Right. And then they passed the law, you know, get them. Passed get them law. It's probably because of you. And then whenever I took the store over, I got to get them and bootlegging them out of the back of the room. <laughs> I had them back there in a big box. Yeah, I know. Somebody said that. And I'd sell them. I sold them every year. Yeah.